Imagine that you own the biggest fast food restaurant chain with an astounding 40,000 locations worldwide. Your mascot has been terrifying children for decades and you rake in a whopping $75 million and serve 69 million customers every single day. Life is easy. As the owner of this huge international chain, you're not too worried about another company taking your top spot, right? Wrong. Don't get confused with the mascot bit. We're talking about McDonald's here, not Subway. The place where those 69 million end up every day to devour the almighty Big Mac while their fitness goals go down the drain. But that's besides the point. McDonald's is in big, big trouble. For the first time in history, the 67-year-old American fast food chain is head-on with a competitor poised to take its number one spot. And this is no ordinary competitor. It's a goddamn YouTuber. Not just any old YouTuber, the biggest one in history. So, how on earth does a YouTuber have a food giant like McDonald's on edge? Well, there's a new type of business model in town. McDonald's better watch out. Let's talk about Beast Burger. Welcome the Beast Burger. Home of the Beast Burger. Can I take your order? It comes as no surprise that burgers are magnets to the general population. Everyone loves them to death. As a matter of fact, Americans devour almost 100,000 burgers every minute. That's a stupendous 144 million burgers in a single day. It's no wonder obesity is on the… <clears throat> I mean, fast food is on the rise, and Beast Burger is quickly taking over the market, leaving pioneers such as McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King in grave trouble. So, what is Beast Burger, apart from having a stupid name a kid would give to an imaginary superhero? Meet Jimmy Donaldson, otherwise known as Mr. Beast, the most famous YouTuber in the world who has amassed a colossal following of 300 million people worldwide. He's the man behind Beast Burger and the reason they profit up to $100,000 per day. Their business model is outlandish to say the least. Up until recently, Beast Burger had no physical locations at all. You must be wondering, how in the hell did Mr. Beast sell physical food on demand without a physical restaurant? Is he selling virtual NFT bullshit burgers? He's not. But I bet some of you believe that for a second. Let me introduce you to the concept of ghost kitchens. Think of a kitchen that is more like a factory that collaborates with other companies to manufacture their profits for them and simply slaps their logos on the products, making it look like the companies made it themselves. So when you're lying on your couch with your belly out, ordering your third meal delivery of the day, your local burger place is probably busy preparing burgers for some other restaurant while you wait. And it might just be for Beast Burger. This perplexing process is known as virtual dining, and Beast Burger is making bank with it. I mean, it's a win-win for both sides. Mr. Beast makes use of his unfathomable fan following to attract customers, while restaurants make the burgers for these customers. Mr. Beast makes millions, the restaurant takes a hefty cut, and everyone goes home happy. So, is it stupid of McDonald's to not look into replacing this virtual dining business model? Regardless of how heavenly a Big Mac is, too many of them come with the downside of making you look like a bag of wet rice. But the Beast Burger business model also comes with its own downsides. Mr. Beast fans have been complaining about slow deliveries, cold food, and burgers that look like they were made during an earthquake. Or maybe just while your mum rolls out of bed. At the end of the day, it's just impossible to ensure a quality across all third-party restaurants. But in all honesty, business is still booming for Beast Burger. When they announced the opening of their first physical location, the Mr. Beast army went wild. An astounding 10,000 people showed up at the opening and contributed to 15 million sales in just under two days. But should McDonald's still switch to the virtual dining model? Surely they have a bigger customer base, right? Well, yes and no. You see, McDonald's has indeed been unstoppable for decades and owns around 45% of the market. But you need to understand that McDonald's needs to pay for marketing and advertising. In fact, they invested $1.62 billion in advertising in the US back in 2020. Meanwhile, Mr. Beast has proven the power of influencer marketing, as a single video about his restaurant has gained 136 million views and a boatload of profits as a result. Essentially, he has the power to acquire customers and he's the one getting paid to advertise, something McDonald's can only dream of. 
Mr. Beast's power as an influencer has skyrocketed Beast Burger to one of the most popular fast food chains across America. He has penetrated the market like a knife through butter. In July of 2022, Mr. Beast announced on Twitter that Beast Burger had already made over $100 million in revenue. Boy, has he monetized his audience well. At this pace and trajectory, it's safe to say that, in time, Beast Burger may make Ronald McDonald bow down and admit to being washed up. To be fair, even though McDonald's and Beast Burger are selling more or less the same products, they actually have very different goals. McDonald's is not actually a fast food company. They are, in fact, a real estate company that owns countless iconic pieces of real estate worldwide. From New York City's Times Square to Moscow's Red Square, McDonald's has possession over most of the world's in-demand places. Also, franchises pay McDonald's a cut of their food sales, but a much larger portion of McDonald's revenue comes from the rent it's paid on its massive real estate portfolio. McDonald's also enjoys a hefty revenue stream from the leases on its 40,000 locations. All of this is contrary to Beast Burger's approach, as it is just a one physical location as of now. But considering the cosmic size of Mr. Beast's audience, they can build the locations anywhere in the world without worrying about sales. Meanwhile, McDonald's will continue to struggle to find influencers to promote their products. Remember the Travis Scott collab? Regardless, it's safe to say that Mr. Beast definitely has some tricks up his sleeve that'll leave Ronald McDonald speechless. Beast Burger is well on its way to surpassing these food giants, and only time will tell how quickly Mr. Beast makes it happen. Speaking of food giants, you don't want to miss our video on why knuckle sandwiches are always on the menu at Waffle House. Click the thumbnail on screen, and we'll catch you there.